barnota geography moduli hara qopae bokona lama geography temherd adisu mujul miraf hulat choose the correct answer from the given alternatives question number 1 which instrument is used to measure temperature a barometer b thermometer c anemometer d hygrometer question number 2 what the main characteristics of a tropical rainforest climate? A. High temperatures and high rainfall throughout the year. B. High temperatures and low rainfall. C. Low temperatures and high rainfall. D. Low temperatures and low rainfall. 10 seconds is given to you. Thermometer is the instrument that is used to measure temperature, while atmospheric pressure is recorded by barometer. Wind speed is measured by an instrument which is called anemometer, while the instrument used to measure humidity is hygrometer. For this reason, the correct answer for question number one is B. Tropical rainforest climate is characterized by high temperatures and high rainfall throughout the year. Why? Because here in tropics, there is high insulation of the sun, which is said to be high humidity. Since there is high humidity, there is high evapotranspiration that results for the presence of rainfall. But high temperatures, yeah. Low rainfall says B. Tropical rainforest is known with high temperature and high rainfall, not low rainfall. C says that low temperature and high rainfall says no. Temperature is high, not low. D. Low temperatures and low rainfall says no. Tropical rainforest is known with high temperature and high rainfall throughout the year. As a result, A is the correct answer question number three which climate classification is typical for the sahara desert a tropical rainforest b mediterranean climate c desert d temperate question number four which of the following best describes the role of the earth's rotation in weather a it causes day and the night cycles b it influences the direction of wind patterns c it determines the seasons. D. It has no effect on weather. Question number five. What is the main factor controlling the climate of Ethiopia? A. Proximity to oceans. B. Altitude. C. Population density. D. Soil composition. For question number one. A is not the answer. Why? Because tropical rainforest is wet, not dry. Then B. Mediterranean climate region is characterized by hot dry summer and mid wet winter. C. Desert is dry, while temperate regions are characterized with having moderate rainfall and moderate temperature. So, the correct answer for question number three is C. Rotation of the air causes day and the night, but not directly weather patterns. The seasons are caused by the tilt of the Earth's axis, not by its rotation. The rotation of the Earth does affect weather patterns through the Coriolis effect. So, the Earth's rotation causes the Coriolis effect, which deflects wind and ocean currents that affecting weather patterns. As a result, B is the correct answer for question number. Four, altitude is the main controlling factor of the climate of Ethiopia. B is the correct answer. Ethiopia is not well known with the proximity of oceans. So proximity to ocean is less influential on climate of Ethiopia. Population density has no significant effect on climate. And also soil composition affects vegetation. But 
not the overall climate. Question number six. Which of the following is not a characteristic of Ethiopia's climate? A. Large variation in temperature. B. Diverse climatic zones. C. High rainfall throughout the year. D. Periodic droughts in some areas. Question number seven. What is the primary characteristics of Mediterranean climate? A. Hot and dry summers, mid and wet winters. B. Hot and wet summers, cold and dry winters. C. Consistently warm temperatures with high rainfall. D. Cold and dry throughout the year. I give you 10 seconds. Ethiopia's climate is well known with having high variation in temperature. Okay, the lowlands and the highland areas are strictly different with variety of temperatures. There are about five climate zones, diverse agroclimatic zone. Again, in Ethiopia, there are periodic droughts in some areas, like that of Borana, Wallo, and the others. But high rainfall throughout the year is not. Except the southwestern highland parts of Ethiopia, there is no high rainfall throughout the year. So, C is not the characteristics of Ethiopian climate. The main characteristics of Mediterranean climate is hot and dry summers, mid and wet winters. A is the correct answer. Question number eight. Which of the following is true about climate classification systems? A. The Köppen climate classification system is based solely on temperature. B. Climate classification is determined by a combination of temperature, precipitation, and vegetation. C. The Köppen system ignores precipitation levels. D. Climate classification is only based on latitude. Question number nine. What defines the tropical savanna climate? A. High temperatures and low rainfall year round. B. High temperature with a distinct wet and dry season. C. Moderate temperatures and high rainfall. D. Low temperatures and low rainfall. You have 10 seconds. Try to answer. The Köppen climate classification system is based not only on temperature, but it depends on precipitation, temperature, vegetation, and the others. So, A is not the correct answer. B. Climate classification is determined by a combination of temperature, precipitation, and vegetation, it says. This is the correct answer. While the Köppen system ignores precipitation, it says no. It supports the precipitation level in climate classification. Climate classification is only based on latitude, it says no. There are different factors to classify the world climate. So D is also not the answer. Tropical savanna climate pronounced a temperature with a distinct wet and dry season. B is the correct answer. But tropical savanna is not dry year round. A is not the correct answer. Again, C is not the answer because tropical savanna do not have a consistent rainfall. And also D is not the answer because the temperature in tropical savanna is not low. Question number 10. What is an agroclimatic zone? A. A region with specific agricultural practices. B. A region with a particular climate suitable for agriculture. C. A region with high industrial activity. 
D. A region with seasonal variations in climate. Question number 11. Which agent is most responsible for shaping the Earth's surface? A. Wind. B. Running water. C. Glaciers. D. Earthquake. Question number 12. What types of erosion occurs when rainwater removes topsoil Really, A. Sheet erosion. B. Real erosion. C. Gall erosion. D. Mindering. Question number 13. Which feature forms when two galleys merge? A. a scree. B. A V-shaped valley. C. A waterfall. D. A deep gully. Agroclimate zones are classified by climate, not by agricultural practices. Agroclimatic zone is a region with a particular climate which is suitable for agriculture. B is the correct answer. Industrial activities are not definitely connected with agroclimatic zones. So, it is not the answer. Agroclimatic zones are defined by a long-term climatic condition, not seasonal variation in climate. So, D is also not the correct answer. Question number 11. Running water is an agent which is mostly responsible for shaping the earth's surface. Why? Because running water is the most powerful external force that shaping landscapes through erosion and deposition. But A and C, wind and glaciers affect landscapes, but less than water. Earthquakes causes the sudden changes, not gradual erosion. B is the correct answer. Question number 12. Sheet erosion is a type of erosion which occurs when rainwater removes topsoil evenly. A is the correct answer. But real erosion and the gully erosion creates small and large channels respectively, which means real erosion creates a small channel and gully erosion creates large channels. Mindering describes the river bends, not erosion. A deep gully is formed when two gullies are merged together. D is the correct answer. V-shaped valleys formed due to a river erosion, but A and the C choices, screes and the waterfalls are unrelated to the issue. Question number 14. Which landform is typical of a river's upper course? A. Flared plain. B. Delta. C. Gorge. D. Oxbow Lake. Question number 15. Which erosion process is most common in desert? A. Sheet erosion. B. Frost action. C. Wind erosion. D. Glacier erosion. Question number 16. Which of the following landform is created by wind erosion? A. Moraine. B. Sand dune. C. Delta. D. Gorge. At the upper course of the river, gorges are formed due to the high speed flow of the rivers. So, C is the correct answer. But... Flared plains and the deltas forms in the lower river course, not at the upper river course. Oxbow lakes formed in meandering middle course rivers, while wind and the glacier erosion are unfamiliar to the issue. Wind erosion is a common erosion process which is mostly known in desert areas. C is the correct answer. Sheet erosion is occur in other areas while found in coldest regions. Sandy dunes are landforms which are created by wind erosion. B is the correct answer. Moraines are formed by glaciers 
ሞረንስ እቹን ጨጨባ ጫቢ ጀቹል የ በረዶ ስብርባሪ ሽርፍራፊ ማለት ነው ዴልታስ እንደ ጎርጅስ ፎርም ዱቱ ዘ ዋተር አክሽን ሶ ዘ ኮሬክት አንሰር ፎር ኳስን ነምበር 6 ኢዝ ቢ ቻናሊ ኬሰን ጂኦሌሰን 17 ቲዩብ ዋንዳ ወተኒፍ ገለቶማ ጂኦሌሰን 17 ቲዩብ ቻናላቹን ስለጎበኛቹ አመሰግናለሁ ጂኦሌሰን 17 ቲዩብ ቻናሊ ሚልኮሚነ ኤግሬ ለወጣፍ ኢም